So it felt like it was time for some um, Adam Feldman photos. Adam and I had been emailing back and forth this morning. Sorry about the wind. Um, it's a breezy day. The sun just came out. It's been really hazy. It's really nice. Anyway, Adam did his artist non-talk on Saturday, Skyping in from Berlin. It was interesting. Um, there were no visuals associated with the Skype, which made it feel like a radio program, although, let's face it, it wasn't. It, it was Skype, which is essentially supposed to be visual. Um, it was... It was a wonderful way of removing our vision from from the experience. And um, interestingly, within, gosh, it wasn't more than a minute or two into the into the sort of stumbling conversation that I think we all forgot that we weren't looking at anyone. And um, it's funny how much a voice can do. At any rate. I was walking this morning and I took some, some pictures north of Melrose in Hollywood and I posted them to Facebook and kind of in my typical way of dedicating them to, in this case to Adam and the moment of his talk. I had been thinking about it and I was struck by what Adam subsequently described as feelings that could be described as being spiritual, maybe, rather than religious, and a way of approaching experience with that sensitivity and that strength. And, and so, of course, as I've documented once or twice already in films, that's when I take pictures, when I'm sort of overwhelmed by this feeling that's inarticulable. And it strikes me as amusing that between two people so well known for being articulate, and for, um, in Adam's case, private self-expression, and in my case, <laughs> just about the most extreme case of public self-expression as possible, um, I should be without words. <laughs> it's kind of fun. <laughs> Thanks, Adam. Um, about 45 minutes into our talk, our talk, I don't know what it was, there were four of us in the gallery talking, John Brittle, Marcus Hirsa, um, Michael Ray and me, that's four. And then and then two um, two onlookers, Vanessa Conti and Lucena, who is Michael's wife and who I'm afraid her last name I've forgotten. At any rate, Marcus sort of turned to us and waved his arms and included Adam in Berlin in the gesture and said why are we trying so hard to pin this guy down and describe him as an artist? Why is this so important to us? What does that mean? And um, there was like this sort of tense, jointly held breath, and then everybody kind of heaved a sigh of relief and said, whoa, you're right. Why are we making this consistent effort? Um, and how else can we think about what it is that Adam does as a practice? Um, Boy, liberation, um, right there at 742 Broadway. Because it turns out that all those times when I myself have been thinking of what Adam does as making art, when he's in a studio with it, when he's having a conversation, when he's drawing out ideas, um, it's coming to be my understanding that, that that's exactly what he's not doing. Because... As was clear in the gallery, all of the objects that are on display are indicators of moments when something happened between an artist and whatever. If you want to get spiritual, and I usually do, it would be the universe or some sort of sense of being within nothingness or, or that. Um, and Adam just is honest about it and refuses to make the objects and insists that his inquiry is, um, represents itself by the act of doing it. And ultimately the pursuit of what he does is of course trying to get at what art is. But what he's doing is, 
well, we need a word for it, um, I think. Um, Michael Gray was particularly passionate and particularly interesting on this subject. And um, he's much redder, redder bed, better read than I am in philosophy. And he was talking about a Heideggerian approach, um, which sounds great, but I don't know what it means. The thing is, he was able to articulate how fucking awesome it is to resist that kind of definition as artist or object maker and insist that what one is doing is beside that and has value and might be associated with it but isn't limited to it. More about that later. After the talk, John Bertel and I were talking and I asked him if what partly could be going on is that describing oneself as anything, I mean, accepting a definition is you have to have in your mind that, like, if I'm an artist, that means there have to be people who aren't artists and maybe can't be artists. Um, definitions are exclusionary in that kind of an outward way. And I wondered if that was something that Adam felt. I don't know him to be a, a terribly... Well, maybe he is sort of a um, universalist in that way and, and somewhat in, of the anti-hierarchical vein. But at any rate, I kind of like the idea Later, on that Saturday, at my house, we had a party for, um, <laughs> for the visiting Germans in, in Los Angeles. And um, Marcus and Vanessa were there. Marcus was barbecuing sausages, and he was talking with me about an unwillingness to try too hard to define what it is we're discovering that Adam does because that then might you know, kill the beast that then might limit what he does it might, once, you know once you put a name on something you can claim it, you can understand it and you can stomp its little brains out um, it happens in schools all the time and he talked about as though Adam I'm going to say he was in, it's as though Adam were working inside a dark box, and I don't mean that to sound like a square place that is limited in size, but that he's feeling blindly through these conversations to find the edges of what it is he's doing. And it may just be that Adam himself isn't quite certain yet. He has a sense of what he's doing, but it might not be so clear. And I can certainly relate to that. Um, probably we all can. Um, probably somewhere at heart, we are all moderately spiritual creatures. Um, even when we resist religion and, and the, the, the social structure that goes along with that. Because um, you don't need that to understand that... Um, the world's an endlessly interesting place, and it's our job to continue to investigate it. Um, and by that I mean when we find answers to understand that there's more beyond that, rather than to make a, you know, to make an object and say, there, that's done, now I figured that one out, I can move on to the next. Um, and I'm not sure if this is getting at the point of what we did on that day, and I'm not sure if it's getting at the point of what Adam does. Um, but, having said what I've said, and having tried to stumble my way through, I think now I'll quit and listen to this and upload some photos and see how it works. Okay. Hey, Adam. I'll send you a link if I upload it. Bye.